Hey everybody and welcome to Stock Abilities. Today I'm going to be covering the Naked Brand Group. I've covered it many times in my other videos so make sure to like, share this video and subscribe to the channel to check those out and check out the playlist as well. Now I'm going to get into this here. There hasn't been a lot of news going on with this stock. The most recent news as you can see on their page was the regaining of the compliance with the NASDAQ listing requirement. Now that didn't really impact the stock very much but at the same time, it seemed to up its core value a little bit, and I'm going to be getting that here in just a second. So listen in. Now, as you can see here, it's been not all too volatile. It's been up and down, up and down. Lowest it got in the last five days was 226 and popped up as high as 244, and it's been up and down up and down it's pretty much at its bottom so if you're considering buying in this would probably be the best time to get in it probably won't dip much lower than this the lowest it can really go is about 215 since insider buy-ins are at 214 215 so something tells me they're going to try to keep it above that price point going a little bit further as you can read the press here uh, announced that on march 17th 2017 it regained its compliance they asked they were given compliance and now they can stay listed and there's really nothing else holding back the merger at least from my point of view and you can read in their filing more details about it there isn't a whole lot to tell about it they filed for compliance they got compliance and that was one of the main issues holding back them announcing an official merger statement so that is something you want to look forward to Something else would be the follow-up, which would be the vote for the merger. And then on top of that, there may be an earnings report, um, some pre-interim budget type of stuff. Um, other than that, that's about all you'd be looking for up until April 10th. There might be some insider buy-ins more. There might be some institutional buy-ins, things like that. So that's what you'd be looking for. There isn't a whole lot else going to be going on. It's going to be going slow until there's actual news. So let's hope for news this week. Uh, I don't see any reason why they'd hold back news all the way up till April 10th. I don't see what else they'd be filing. Maybe it's a lot of paperwork and uh, writing out all these filings. So that could be also the delay. I don't really see any other reason for it. Something else to consider. Someone brought this up on StockTwits. It's not really that significant. But as you can see, he actually put up his actual retreat for sale. And uh, what's interesting is this is marked on February 8th, 2017. And at this point, it's like he's already pretty confirmed that the bend and naked merger will go through. He doesn't seem all that worried about it. And it, of course, this is just a retreat. This could be just meaningless, but it's something to consider and factor in. Thanks for listening in. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. If you like videos like this and listen to the playlist, if you want some more information about the Naked Brand Group, have a nice day.